good Saturday. It's Saturday. We're drinking. It's a little grapey for my taste, but it's 18% alcohol. Cheers, it's Saturday. We're drinking. Oh man. Hey, there's writing on the box. Today we're doing a double feature. I found this in Walmart. Hereford meatballs. I had never heard of Hereford until I watched a video by Georgia Bigfoot. I think he did the roast beef. A bag of meatballs. The cooking instructions are sort of weird. Remove contents from pouch, microwave plate, cover, heat one to two minutes. Uh, stove top, carefully place pouch in boiling water and simmer for three to five minutes. I think we're gonna cook it in the microwave because we're gonna use this to make some minute rice. Cheers, it's Saturday, we're drinking. Mm. Here we have a 1954 brand new Flintware Radiant Heat Core saucepan. Now, I think I've seen these in a thrift shop and I haven't been impressed, but this is brand new. We haven't taken it out of the box yet. 15 year guarantee. We're gonna make some minute rice in it. Minute rice was around in 1954. How cool is that? Supply Biddle Stelts Company. Bristol at Fifth Street, Philadelphia. One of America's largest wholesalers. I just even got who it's to. To Bob, S Radio Service. How cool. One East Penn Avenue, Robesenta, Pennsylvania. Two quart covered saucepan. 1954, man. This is like a three ply steel. I think I read there's vanadium steel outside Vanadium steel inside, and I don't know what the middle layer is. Maybe it's carbon steel. I, I haven't been able to find out. Oh, it's got paperwork. Cheers, it's Saturday, we're drinking. Is that fun? You have just made an important investment in the finest cookware made today. Stainless steel flint cookware. By following simple instructions in this booklet, you will get the best results possible from your new utensil. These instructions are intended to help you enjoy every advantage in cooking. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, flint cookware gift sets. Why stainless flint cookware is America's fastest growing line of cookware. Flint is grandmother's old cast iron skillet. Our radiant heat core wrapped in two layers of stainless steel for modern convenience and beauty. Old fashioned flavor? Old fashioned flavor? Vanadium steel flavor! Oh, man, I love old booklets. How cool is that? Saves vitamins and minerals? That's so funny. Saves flavor, saves food appearance, saves money. Waterless. This is waterless cookware, they say. Ooh, time charts. Boy, they went, that's a lot, that's elaborate. Time charts for cooking? Beef heart, two to two to two and a half hours. Beef kidney, one hour. Oxtails, two to three hours. Lamb breast, one and three quarters to two hours. That's fun stuff, right? Okay, let's take a look at it. That lid's pretty solid. Barbara wears thinner. The lid. Ooh. Spreads heat evenly. Washes clean, easy as dishes. It's very light. Flintware. Two quart Echo USA tri clad stainless steel. 18 8 tri clad. I've said this before, but when you're dealing with old echo wear, you want to get the ones where this is welded to the pan. More recent ones have a metal sleeve with a horrible mount. So you want this solid piece attached to the pan. It gives you an idea how old it is. That's a nice, that's a nice two quart. You know, it's not too light, but it, it's lightweight. Let's see if this peels off. 
Oh, hey. Oh, cool. We're gonna have to save this. Cheers, it's Saturday, we're drinking. Oh, we'll make some minute rice and we'll cook some Hereford meatballs, which I've never had. It's Saturday, we're drinking. Very sweet. Now, to my surprise, acetone didn't really work on the adhesive. Bon Ami did. Bon Ami with a little barkeeper's friend. Let's make some minute rice. It's supposed to be equal parts water to rice. Hi. Vintage cookware heating up. Like 69 years. 69 years. Years. How does someone have a new one in a box for 69 years? I'll lower it a little bit. Here we go. Minute rice. Five minute rice. Boiling water. I think we're boiling. A little speck in there. I don't know what that is. And go. Cover one to two minutes. All right. Let's open her up. Does she tear? She tears. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Okay. I like the color of the sauce. It's very dark. Dark and beefy. That's cool. Okay, let's just move these. Get them into the sauce. So I really like the color of the sauce. Sometimes you get a bright red, you know, it looks kind of like Chef Boyardee. This looks dark and rich to me. Let's nuke it. Perfect fit into the microwave. Let's go one and a half minutes. One, three, zero, start. Cheers, we're drinking. Let's just look at this again. Made with beef and chicken and spaghetti sauce and we're putting it over rice. We start with hearty meatballs and smother them in a rich spaghetti sauce with the perfect amount of herbs and spices. Enjoy sauce over spaghetti and a meatball sub or over white rice. Hey, we're using white rice. All right. Minute rice. Fluffy. Our rice. Minute rice. How cool is it that we can use minute rice that was around in the 50s and we can have a saucepan that was around in the 50s? I think that's pretty cool. One. Let's eat a lot of meatballs. It's Saturday. We're drinking. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, the sauce is really dark and rich. All right, I'm going seven. You know what? We're drinking. I got rice in there. Very thick. Sauce is very thick. That to me looks pretty freaking appetizing for beef and chicken meatballs. Cheers, it's Saturday, we're drinking. I might need some more sauce. I wanted to save some. Here we go. Should we cut one in half? Let's see what it looks like. It's a little tan. Let's see. 
Let's try it. Okay. It's very salty. Ah, oh, let's look at the sodium. 1,020 milligrams of sodium. I'm sorry, that's... Ah, that's a lot of sodium. Let's see how it tastes with some rice. It might taste less salty. Tastes pretty good with the rice. Alone, it was very salty. With the rice, it's not as bad. It's a very unique flavor. Cooked meatballs. Oh, beef, chicken, water texture. Oh my gosh. Ah, textured vegetable protein. There's soy protein in here. Meat, chicken, and soy. It's a very unique flavor. Very different though. I'm gonna try a little sauce on its own. Oh, the sauce is very salty. It has kind of a strange flavor to me. Take another bite. I'm not sure I like them. They're tender. They, they do have a good flavor, but there's some kind of aftertaste I'm getting. Maybe it's the chicken. The strange flavor will not stop me from eating this. And it might taste pretty good in a sub. But there is some kind of weird flavor to it. Hereford meatballs made with beef and chicken. It doesn't say soy. Made with beef and chicken and soy protein. I'm just saying. Three hour tour. 1954, people. It's kind of fun, kind of beautiful. It's no longer new. Thanks for joining me this Saturday. You know what I'm going to say. What am I going to say? Thanks for watching. Mmm.